Lesson 4, Using Sequence Container and Scripting Task Part 1, Export Data to Text File Create New Integration Services Project Create a new OLA.DB connection. Drag data flow task onto the grid. Change the name, and then double click data flow task. Drag Olay DB source onto the data flow design surface. Choose the cars table. Drag flat file destination onto the data flow design surface. Click the OLAY DB source and connect it to the flat file destination by dragging the blue arrow. Double click flat file destination and create the appropriate connection. Part 2, Adding a Sequence Container Sequence Container, groups tasks and containers into control flows that are subsets of the package control flow. That is, Sequence Containers group the package into multiple separate control flows. It gives you such benefits as the ability to disable groups for debugging, to manage properties on multiple tasks instead of on just individual tasks, and to provide scope for variables that are used by components in the sequence container.
On the control flow page, drag sequence container to the grid. Rename the sequence container. Drag a data flow task to the sequence container. Part 3, Adding a Variable Right-click anywhere on the design surface of the Control Flow tab and select Variables. In the Variables pane, click the Add Variable button. A new variable appears in the name list. Change the name of the new variable to File Found. Change the data type from INT32 to Boolean. Part 4, Using Scripting Task Drag Script Task from the Control Flow Items Group Toolbox to the Grid. Double-click Script Task to open the Script Task Editor. On the Script page, notice that the default language is Visual Basic. Click the Edit Script button to add the code to the main subroutine. The variable dispenser belongs to the task, not to the package. If you have multiple variables to acquire, you add each one independently to the variable dispenser, using lock for read and lock for write and only the variable name as an argument. This does not actually lock the variable but puts it in a list to lock. Once all the variables are in the dispenser, you call get variables to put the array of variables into the local variable, my variable in this example. If you need only one variable, the lock1 functions are a shortcut. Use system.io to test for the existence of the output file. Rather than hard code the path and file name, use the connection. The file found variable will contain the result of the test. Whether the file is found or not, the task will return success. Close the design script window and click OK to close the script task editor. Double-click the green arrow. Change the evaluation operation to expression and add the expression. Part 5, Check the Result Execute the package The file was created Execute the package again.
the file was not created again. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com